Wow. Just. Wow. Hey guys, it's Kevin again. It's me, another movie review for you guys, and I am so happy that I can finally review this movie. As I've told you guys before, I don't get limited releases in my theater a lot. It is very rare that that happens. It happened with a few movies, and this was not one of them. This movie did not come to my theater. What did happen is this movie was probably, out of all the ones that weren't coming to my theater, this is the one I wanted to see the most by far. I have heard so many amazing things about this movie, and finally I've seen it, and that movie is none other than Room. I have wanted to see Room for so long. It has been one of the most anticipated movies for the rest of the year. Um, I just, I could not wait to see this movie. Mainly just because the premise sounded very intriguing, but also mainly because of the fact that it was getting so many amazing reviews. And then if any movie you want to see, this was the one I was looking forward to the most. And it finally came on to Solar Movie, mainly because of the Golden Globes, things like that. And this has been getting tons and tons of critical acclaim. It's gotten Golden Globe nominations, it's gotten SAG Award nominations. It's like, I need to check out this movie. Luckily, one other movie came on to Solar Movie that I probably will review this weekend. Uh, but I knew, I like, the second this came on, I'm like, I gotta watch this. I need to watch this. I need to watch this. I was freaking out when this came on because I, you have no idea how long I wanted to see this, guys. And overall, after seeing Room, how was Room? Guys, I know I said Beast and O'Nation is one of the, is a rarity of this year. No, Room is the best movie of the year, without a doubt. I loved every minute of this movie. The def How do I sum up Room? Room is a masterpiece, okay? It's that simple. Room is the definition of a masterpiece. I have not seen any movie like Room. There are so many things about Room that I just love. It's a movie I want to recommend to so many people and will just constantly think about. And when the end of the year comes, you bet your Room will definitely be my top 10 list. It might even be number one. I can't say it's going to be because I haven't finished all the films I really want to see yet, so I don't know if it's going to be number one, but it has a damn good chance of being number one. I do not know how um, a movie can beat this one, because it's going to be very hard to do that. Now, the plot of Room is very, very vague, but it was just so intriguing from the very small premise of this movie. Now, this is a movie where, two things I gotta tell you about this movie. One, if you wanna watch this movie, do not, do not, do not look up anything, okay? Don't look up anything about this movie. I don't want you to know anything that happens. I don't want you to know the events of what occurs. If you find out what happens in the second half of the movie, fine. Like, if you find out that what happens in the first half and the second half, that's fine. But just don't know, don't go in knowing anything. Luckily, I went to this movie going basically blind, just knowing a very small plot. Two, do not watch the trailer for this movie. It spoils everything. It spoils the final scene of the movie. Don't watch the trailer, whatever you do. Just don't watch it. Um, but the plot of this movie, in short, is basically um, focused around these two characters. You have Jack and uh, Jack and Ma, who Jack is five. And uh, the whole movie is told through his eyes, may I say. And these two characters, Jack and his mother, they have been living in this small, confined area. Basically, uh, what we eventually find out is a shed, and which they call Room. And uh, it's not really a room, though. It's more of like a very small shed. And we're not talking like a hotel room. We're talking about a very small, confined room. And all it has, there's like a plant, there's a bed, there's a toilet, there's a bathtub, there's a rudimentary kitchen. There's It's not even a bedroom. They, there's this area they call wardrobe. And there are no windows and just one sky on the ceiling. And basically, Jack is now turning five. And his mother has tried to keep, um, you know... They are being held captive by some man that she that she calls Old Nick. We don't know who this man is until a little bit later when we do find out what's going on. And basically, uh, Ma has been trying to shield Jack from what's actually going on. You know the uh, seriousness of the situation that they're in. And then one day when he's about to turn, um, when he's about to turn five, basically. She decides that now is the time to tell him what's going on and basically tries to make an escape attempt to get out of this room. And that is all I can say because I don't want you guys to know anything else about the movie. And the plot, if the plot intrigues you, then you're gonna love this movie. And there's so many things to love about this movie. Um, first of all, let's just get to the acting in this movie, which... This is one of those movies where I say acting, I need to clap. I really do. I mean, the acting in this movie from every single performer is just 
incredible. Every actor in this movie is giving an amazing performance, and they all deserve so much recognition. Um, this movie, Brie Larson's Bill is the main character. She is, but I would say Jacob Tremblay is the main character in this movie as Jack, because Jack is the one that we stay with the entire movie. He is the, you know, he's the one that it's in his perspective the whole movie. And Jack, like I said, is five years old. This actor, Jacob Tremblay, is nine years old. And... Holy shit, he was incredible in this movie. Okay, if you've not heard the name Jacob Tremblay before, you will after this movie. I am convinced Jacob Tremblay is going to be a big actor when he is older. He is going to make a lot of movies. He is going to be very successful. I can definitely see Jacob Tremblay being very successful in movies after this one because he is incredible in this movie as Jack. Jack is essentially your typical five-year-old. I mean, this really isn't affecting him that much, mainly because he's used to it, and I loved his character, just the way his character was. There are so many monologues with his character throughout this movie, and they're kind of just what he's thinking in his head, you know, how things are going for him. He doesn't see this room as a bad thing. He sees it as where he lives, and he's also very unaware of the outside world, we eventually find out, and the way they do that in this movie, I thought was just incredible. Everything with him, his emotions, emotions, his mannerisms, just the way that Jack carried himself was incredible. He was so good in this movie. He did a very good job as well with not making the character annoying. There are several times in this movie, like, that could have been very annoying, but because of the situation they're in, that's why it's not annoying. Um, in any other movie, a character like Jack would be very, very annoying. I'm not someone that usually really loves child actors. In fact, I think sometimes you have a child actor that could really ruin a movie. This is one of those cases where it makes the movie perfect. And, you know, if Jack would not have been the center of this movie, it still could have been a great movie. But having Jack be center of this movie is very risky and just works so, so well. Jacob Tremblay better get nominated for an Oscar. I don't care how. I don't know when. I don't know how. But if Kravonzene Walls can get nominated for, for uh, Beasts of the Southern Wilds, Jacob Tremblay can get nominated for Room. Without a doubt, he needs to be. Now, Brie Larson, I have been looking for that female performance um, for so long now. That is the best female performance of the year. And for a while, it's been Charlize Theron as Furiosa. Brie Larson has now been the best female performance of the year. She was incredible in this movie as Ma. I mean, this is a mother that is willing to put aside everything just for her son. And the bonding that these two have is incredible. Something that I don't think people have brought up enough about this movie is that while this movie is Jack's, it's just as much Ma's because the character of Ma, or Joy, we eventually find out her name is, um, which, you know, that's not really much of a spoiler. Really, it's not. Um, her character is just so great in this movie. You can tell this entire movie she's suffering. She's suffering, you know, there's a lot going on with her, but she's willing to make this kind of like a game for her son in many ways. Kind of just like, you know, she doesn't, you know, she's kind of shielded him and now she's realizing that she's actually hurting him that way. And she is just incredible in this movie. There is one scene in this movie where she reveals to him what's actually going on. And I was just like... Oscar nomination right there. That scene in general solidifies, I think, her Oscar nomination and win. In my opinion, Brie Larson should not be nominated. She should win the damn Oscar. She deserves it. She was incredible throughout this movie. There are so many scenes with her that I just, I felt the emotion. And the bonding between these two is by far the strongest bond I've seen of any movie this year. I felt every emotion that these two are feeling. When these, are, when they're happy, I felt happy. When Jack did something cute, I was like, that's adorable. When Jack was having breakdowns, I was heartbroken. There are so many heartbreaking scenes in this movie. Uh, Ma's very, there are several attempts that Ma has to get Jack out, and they're all very sad to watch, but you understand why she has to do it, and... I just love the way her character was done. There are times in this movie where Ma, you can tell, is definitely, like I said, suffering. But she will not show that with Jack because she wants to, you know, um, she wants him to stay happy. She wants him to stay strong. She doesn't want him to know the severity of this situation. It's very interesting to watch. I thought she did an incredible job, and I really loved her character. Um... Then, of course, we have the character of Old Nick, played by Sean Bridgers. Now, many people would say, oh, his character really wasn't very developed, or we didn't really understand why he did this. Now, let me say this. Again, the movie is in Jack's perspective. Jack doesn't give a shit what's going on with Old Nick. He doesn't even know who Old Nick is. We eventually find out who Old Nick is, which is very well done, let me just say. 
but he gave an incredible performance as this character of Old Nick. We don't need to know who Old Nick is. We don't need character development with this character. We just know that this guy is holding them captive, and that's enough of a reason to hate this guy. You hate this guy. This guy is by far the most menacing villain I have seen all year, and he really did an incredible job just by his character in general. Just by the way he, this actor did, you know, just by the way he carried himself, he really did an incredible job. Um... Do you necessarily understand why he's holding them captive? No, you don't understand. You eventually find out why, but it doesn't really, you don't really need to see his character development. And I think they did a very good job with that. I loved his character. He did an incredible job, and I really love seeing that. Uh, Joan Allen, William H. Macy, they were fantastic. I can't really say why they're in the movie because that's due to the second half of the movie, which I don't really want to talk about because the second half of the movie, I think, is a spoiler and I think ruins a large portion of this movie. I will get into spoilers because this is a movie where I just, I really want to talk about spoilers. I really do. Um, but, uh, I think all the actors were just incredible. They all deserve recognition and they all did an incredible job. Um, the directing by Lenny Abrahamson. Now, I forgot to say, by the way, Room is based off of a book. I didn't even care that it's based off a book. This is one of the rare cases where it's based off a book and you don't even care. The directing here by Lenny Abra Abrahamson is just fantastic. He did a fantastic job directing this movie. Like I said, a very risky idea telling this movie through a child's eyes. Beast and Onation, that seemed inevitable because it's about a child war. This you know, many movies would have been portrayed through the mother's eyes, and that the son would just be her son. That's what it would be throughout most movies, and that's kind of what I expected this to be, but that's not at all what this is. It's told directly through a child's eyes. You feel like you are five when you're watching this movie, and they did that very, very well. Like, you feel like, you, you, you know, when you see something, you feel the way that Jack feels. When his mother's in danger, you feel the way a little child would. It really makes you remember how you felt as a five-year-old, and I thought some of those scenes were just very, very interesting. Just the way that Jack sees life, Life is very positive but that's how every child does I mean a child doesn't know of the darkness of things a child doesn't know about certain things they really I think Lenny Abramson really directed that very very well directed to perfection and definitely deserves that the screenplay though is by far the best screenplay I have heard all year there are so many scenes in this movie that felt classic first of all like I said the details in this movie are just they're very subtle but they're not subtle in the way you think of. They're subtle in a way I've never seen before. Again, I can't keep saying it enough. The movie is portrayed through Jack's eyes. If I were to compare it to anything, I would compare it to a Leftovers episode. You know in a Leftovers episode, they portray it through a certain character's eyes, and you only see what that character sees, and you don't see how the other character feels? That is very much room, except for the fact that you do see how the character feels about things. You really do. I mean, there are certain things that his mom is going through, and you feel it, but we don't really get into it because a child doesn't understand the things that his mother is going through. They just don't. You know, as much as they might want to, they'll have that curiosity, but again, they're only five, so they're not going to, and if we were to delve deeper into it, it really would not work, and yeah, some people could say, oh, the movie's not entirely done through his eyes, but it really is because everything we see, Jack is in every scene of this movie. There's an there's an interview scene that, yes, is focused on Ma, but Jack is watching it the entire time, and we hear everything that Jack hears. And it's done in a very, very good way, and I definitely loved seeing that. And a lot of people might compare this movie to Boyhood, and I don't think you should, honestly. Um... I was going to compare it to Boyhood, but Boyhood is very different from this movie. Boyhood, we got the characters. We really did. Even though it was done through this boy's life, we understood the characters. But this movie really isn't done like that. This movie is done where it's all done through the eyes of a child, and they did that very, very well. And I loved seeing every minute of that. Just incredible stuff, incredible scenes, and just, I, I it's a movie I'm never going to forget. It really is. I mean, again, like I said, I cried all, I was on the verge of tears several times throughout this movie. The scene in general, she's revealing what's going on with them it's just i was on the verge of tears i really was incredible stuff and just i loved every minute of it uh the cinematography to this movie is fantastic you feel claustrophobic when you're in this room you really do you're like i want to see more but you can't because again jack does not know of the outside world so you're not going to see the outside world until jack finds out about the outside world which was a very smart idea and i thought they handled that very very well in order for me again i'd love to say more but i need to get into spoilers and i need to give you guys a spoiler warning when i need to so i'm not going to give you spoilers right now uh but the score of this movie is just so great 
great. It's so epic, and it's just, it, it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful score and goes perfect with this movie. Every time I heard it, I just thought it was beautiful, and I loved it, and just fantastic score. The editing to this movie is perfect as well. Perfectly edited. Every scene in this movie feels important. There are going to be some scenes in Beast No Nation that I do forget. There's not going to be a single scene I forget in this movie. Every scene in this movie feels important. Every scene in this movie feels like it matters, and that's something I just loved about this entire movie is the way that the scenes went like I said every scene just felt like it meant something and that it was amounting to something and that's what you want to feel in a movie you want you don't want to feel like there was a pointless scene in the movie this movie doesn't have pointless scenes and that's something I just loved seeing it every scene really does mean something and they did that very very well um this movie is also surprisingly very, very deep, considering it's through the eyes of a five-year-old. It's a very deep movie, and they did that very, very well. So now, I really do want to get into the spoilers, because I really want to talk about some of the things I really love that the movie did, and I know a lot of you haven't seen this movie, so please stop watching this review. If you guys want to watch this movie, I don't want you guys to know anything. I really don't. I want you guys to know basically everything I've told you up to what I'm about to tell you, because the spoilers I talk about are a huge detriment to you guys finding out about the plot. If you guys find out about, you know, anything more about the plot than what I told you, then you're going to spoil this entire movie for yourself and you're not going to feel the way that I felt. So let me just get into what I really want to talk about. Okay. So like I said, I really didn't know what happens in this movie. I Yes, I knew that they got out. I did know that they got out of the room just because it said the second half of the movie focuses on them getting out. That's fine. If you guys find that out, that's fine. What I didn't know is what the second half of the movie was going to show, which was brilliant. I love the way the second half of the movie is done, because a lot of it, yes, is focused on depression. And a lot of people are going to say that Ma is not a very developed character, and that we really didn't get into her psyche. The movie is in Jack's perspective. A child doesn't understand depression. A child doesn't understand, you know, um sadness. A child doesn't have that yet. That's something a child gets as they get older. That's when they experience sadness. But someone who's five is not going to experience depression. That's why we didn't really get into it. We just see what Jack sees. You know, Jack sees his mother just acting differently. Like the scene where she's telling him to pick up his toys off the floor. She's suddenly angry. This is a side of his mom he's never seen before, and he's kind of just taken aback by it. And that's something I really love. And a lot of people will wonder, why does he want to go back to the room? Because that's where his mom gave him the most nurture. That's where things felt normal for him. Now that he's out in this world, it's a huge adjustment. And the way that they did that, I thought was perfect. The way that Jack didn't want to cut his hair, for example, because the hair symbolizes him. I was surprised he didn't, but then it really did make sense to me because the hair is really what makes him remember the room and what makes him, you know, remember the great times he's had in the room and how his mom was and things like that. Again, to him, this didn't really feel like a bad thing. He didn't really see how bad this room was and what it was really doing to to his mom because obviously again he's five he does he can't comprehend that those aren't feelings that he can understand um but then we get the incredible interview scene which i was in tears honestly and the guy is in the scene I, i'm not gonna lie to you i was i was crying in this scene i really thought it was very very emotional and very well handled definitely of course basically you know ma is interviewed by um the woman and all the questions the woman gives her I thought were very intriguing, but the one that stuck with me the most is, was it the best thing for you to take care of your son, you know, the way you did and not just send him away? That is a big thing to think about, but again, she wanted someone that could care for her son. She didn't want anyone to have her son but her because she was the one that, she, that knew she would give him the love and care that he deserved. Even though we're basically supposed to think that this son was basically because, I'm assuming Old Nick raped her. I mean, again, we don't get enough, we don't get a lot of the details, but we don't need the details. We don't need to know why Old Nick took her because that's not what the movie's about. The movie's about adjusting and the movie's about, you know, sacrifice and things like that. Him sacrificing his hair is probably the most mature thing a, th a kid could do. I mean, really, this is a five-year-old, and he's making a very mature decision to just cut his hair. And I love when his grandma asks, you know, why are you cutting your hair? And he says, because it'll save mom. And I just, I loved when he says that. I think it was an incredible scene. I love that. Um, I love the scene when they're at the dinner table and he's hearing people swear and he's hearing, you know, he's seeing his grandma and grandpa for the first time who he's never met before. He's heard about, but he's never met them. It just feels weird to him to actually eat a table and actually have an outside world 
all of this feels very weird, and the way he's shy around certain people, you know, he never, he never thought anyone else existed except his mom, and of course, the scene where he's being interrogated, I loved the way that was done, the scene in the very beginning where he goes out of the room, and he's taught, you know, there are those two police officers, they're interviewing him, and they basically ask him, you know, how'd you get in there, why'd you get out, what's going on, and he basically says, I think space is out there, because that's what he's been told, that there is no, that window, because just space is out there, and this is the entire world that's the that's what his mother has told him and the way that he reacts to her when she tells him I thought was very interesting most children would be like okay but he's not that way he's saying you lied to me how dare you how dare you lie to me and that makes sense why he's upset about that because he's believed everything she said because you know when you're five, you believe everything your parents tell you. Eventually, when you're a teenager, you learn that not every, that your parents are always right. But he's five, so he thinks his mom is always right, and that's kind of just how he is. He always believed what his mom said because it just sounded real to him. You know, it didn't sound fake, and he didn't really understand the difference between reality and fiction. And I love the way that scene was done. And I was also very happy that they did not kill off Ma. I was worried they were going to. I was like, no, 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 don't do that. That'd be really stupid if they did. Thank God they didn't, because when she attempted suicide, I was like, please don't kill her off. It's way too early in the movie for that. Luckily, they didn't. But, of course, you knew they were going to go through that. And I knew she was going to suffer. I knew she was going to, but she was going to do the best she could to hide it from Jack. But there's only so far you can go to hide that from your kid. And her attempting suicide is like the worst thing that Jack could have experienced. But it really helps him grow as a character. I mean, that's when he realizes, oh shit, this is serious. And my mom is, you know, something's wrong with her. She's not acting the way she used to. That's kind of how he sees it. He doesn't see it as she has depression, obviously, because again, a child doesn't understand that. What he does know is that she's just acting differently. There's something off about her, and he doesn't know what it is, and he wants to do every can to fix that, and I love seeing that. And then, of course, the ending of the movie, I just thought was perfect. When he goes back to the room, and it's not the same, really is giving him that sense of closure. He's realizing, I don't need to go back to this room. You know, my new life is beginning. I don't need to go back here. The room, that was that. That was then, and this is now. That's what I need, and I don't need to go back. There was just a picture-perfect scene. And the scene where she says, let's go home, was just perfect. I loved it. And just the way that scene was done, gentlemen, where he's saying goodbye to everything, just felt like he's finally getting the closure he needed. The room, that part of him is behind him. He's ready to move on with his life. And again, he's a five-year-old, but he's really making a lot of mature decisions if you think about it. There are a lot of things in this movie that, you know, there are a lot of decisions in this movie that Jack has to make that are very, very mature. And that's a very good example of that. And I loved seeing that. I thought that was fantastic. I love that, and I was so impressed by the way they handle a child, because again, when you have a child actor, they can usually be, a lot, a lot of movies, when you have a child, they can usually be very annoying or cliche, um, I Smile Back is an example of that, a movie with children where they're literally just children, there's no character, Jack is probably the most developed child I have seen in a very, very long time, and yes, Agu was developed, but he was 11, Jack is 5, and they really developed him into this smart, kind of adult-like child, and I definitely love seeing that. The way that was done was perfect, and I love that. But overall, guys, Room is a true, true masterpiece. If anything, this is a movie that I can't recommend enough, honestly. If you guys haven't seen this movie, check it out. It is an incredible movie. If you haven't seen this movie, why are you watching this restaurant's review? But anyway, um... Just check out this movie. It is incredible. I can't recommend it enough. I can't wait to tell more people about this movie. Literally, I'm going to go and tell people about this movie. I don't care who they are. I don't care who you know who you are, who where you're from. I need to tell you about this movie. And I'm so glad this movie is finally getting recognition. For years, A24 has tried to put out movies, and they haven't really been getting a lot of um, recognition and um, Oscars and whatnot, but this movie I finally think is going to give A24 that credit where credit is due, and I'm very happy that they're doing that, and by far, Room, without a doubt, gets a 5 out of 5 or an A+. Plus, I love every man in this movie, probably the best movie of the year. Again, I can't solidify that it is, but from what I've seen so far, by far, I think this is the best movie I've seen all year. But overall, guys, let me know what you guys saw this movie, if you have seen it. Um, again, I can't recommend it enough, just an incredible movie. And it's really a movie that's hard to put in words. It really is. I mean, you guys seen the movie. You know that this is a movie that's very hard to put in words. And I definitely love that about it. It's a very small movie, but it's a very big idea. And 
Those were what makes some of the best movies. You can have a very small concept as simple as these two people are in a room and this is how they get out of it. You can do a lot more with it than you think and I definitely love seeing that. And also, I forgot to say, the plot of this movie, to many movies, would be the end of the movie. you think them getting out, that'd be the end of the movie, but there's just so much more for them to deal with, and I love the way they handled that in the movie. But over, guys, my review. Hope you enjoyed. Please check out this movie, and I will see you guys in the next which will be for another movie review, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.